The Swedish Labhund is a rare dog breed which is very intelligent, playful, lively and affectionate. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Swedish Labhund. I would love to thank Setas for letting me use its photos in this video. If you will like the Swedish Labhund and you would love to see more of it, definitely check him out. Link is in description. Number 1. Origin it's believed that the Swedish Labhund is one of the oldest of all dogs we know today. These dogs originated in northern Scandinavia in a region called Lapland, where Sami people lived. Because the breed's history is so old, it's impossible to say what is the exact date of origin or what are the breed's ancestors, but it's believed that this is a result of a female wolf and male dog hybridization that occurred post-domestication, and it's believed that they share the same ancestry with some other Sami-related breeds, such as Finnish Labhund, Norwegian Elkhound, Laponian Herder or Swedish Elkhound. Number 2. Utilization this is very versatile breed and Sami people back in the days used this breed for a variety of purposes. Initially for hunting and guarding, but later these dogs were used for herding reindeer. And even the Swedish Labhunds today still have strong herding instinct and some of them are still used for this purpose. Today this breed is also used in army and as a rescue dog. Number 3. Companions of course, the Swedish Labhund is not only a working dog, because today they are more and more popular as companion dogs. They are not for everyone, but if you are an active person who likes outdoors, then this might be a perfect dog for you. This is quite active breed who needs proper daily outdoor exercise. The Swedish Labhund is always ready for a long walk, hike or good playtime. This is definitely very faithful, affectionate and friendly dog that loves its family. These dogs also get well with other pets and children. Number 4. Coat this dog just must have a thick double coat that protects it from cold and harsh climate of northern Scandinavia. Amazing fact about its coat is that it does not have much of the typical doggy odor. You can find this breed in black or bare brown color. This dark color makes it much easier to spot them in snow. Some Swedish Labhunds can have white spots on the chest, feet and tail. Number 5. Spits on the first sight, you can say that the Swedish Labhund is a Spitz type of a dog. They have all the typical Spitz characteristics, such as erect pointy ears, very dense furry coat, long foxy-like muzzle and oftentimes curly tail. Number 6. Size the Swedish Labhund is a medium-sized dog breed with average height between 16 to 20 inches, which is 40 to 50 centimeters, and weight should be between 30 to 45 pounds, which is 13 to 20 kilograms. There are no extreme size differences between males and females. Number 7. Rarity the Swedish Labhund is a very rare dog breed and it's very hard to find them outside Scandinavia. It's believed that there are only something above 1000 purebred Swedish Labhunds these days, most of them in Sweden. But their popularity as well as their numbers are slightly rising and this breed is not on the verge of extinction. Number 8. Barking the Swedish Labhund has a very specific high-pitched bark. They achieve this kind of a barking by rapidly pushing air through their diaphragms while restricting their vocal cords. The result is high-pitched squeaky bark. This kind of a barking was popular among Sami people because it deterred predators, but it didn't scare the reindeer. Number 9. Maintenance even though the Swedish Labhund has very thick and dense coat, the grooming and maintenance is not very hard. They can keep themselves clean and even without any grooming, they will keep the coat in good shape. As you can probably imagine, this dog does shed. So if you want to minimize the shedding, you should brush their coat regularly to remove the dead hair. Just like with all dogs, you should also regularly check the dog's ears, eyes, teeth and nails and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 10. Health this is usually a pretty healthy dog breed with average lifespan between 12 to 13 years. Of course, just like all dogs, they can suffer from some health issues, which includes progressive retinal atrophy, diabetes and some allergies. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Swedish Labhund and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocka Dogs links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.